Hey, what's up with you? Something happened today. Oh, hey, Amira. Yeah, some stuff happened at school today. Yeah? We were at swimming and this kid was being mean, teasing me and pushing me because I've got skinny legs. And when I told the teacher, he said, get over it. I felt really unsafe there. And now I don't want to go back and I know my parents will be upset when I tell them. Sounds like a job for your... Shield of safety. It can fix that. Your shield of what? Your rights. They're like superpowers, like your... Sword of knowledge. And your... Cloak of participation. They're invisible, but super powerful. And Australia has promised these rights and others to children by signing the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Right. What do they do? Your shield of safety? It's your right to be safe no matter where you are. Your sword of knowledge? It's your right to information, education and privacy. And your cloak of participation? Your right to have a say and be heard. Once you know your rights, they can help you out in all kinds of situations. The power is yours. Be gone, bully! Zap you, pollution! Hey, that's not fair! Standing up and using your rights helps us all. It shows other kids they're not alone and gets parents and teachers to pay attention. Because what kids say and do really matters. The best part about rights is that they're with everyone, everyone everywhere, everywhere, every day. day. And knowing your rights can help you change your community. Lots of kids are already doing this by taking a stand against things like violence and discrimination and helping create a cleaner environment through zero waste lunch projects. Your rights are your superpowers. So get to know them and learn how to stand up for them, for yourself and others. Check out our website to learn more. humanrights.gov.au slash kids.